Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I have on the Fame wig, trying to adjust it, in the color Creamsicle. Now this is one of my favorite wigs. I really love this particular wig. I love wearing it. I think it's great. And this is a unique color, the Creamsicle. You can't find this Creamsicle much anymore. Now this particular Fame is more straight than the honey that I've worn before. It's more straight and it does kick out a little bit, but not like the honey does. I could not find the honey to show you the difference this morning. I'm sorry, I looked all over. I couldn't find the honey. I'll find her later on today. And what I'm gonna do is trim off a little bit of the back end of the honey. And you can do that. You just put it up on the wig head, get yourself a wig head, a block head, and then you can just trim a little bit off. That's all I need is just a little bit because you get this variance in wigs. And I noticed that the honey colored fame tends to kick up lots more. This one is more straight and I like it more straight. I like it to come down straighter in the back. I, I like that better. This one tends to kick up. It, it wants to kick up a little bit, and that's okay. But the honey-colored one was just absolutely a little bit too long, and you get that. So anyways, this is one of my favorite go-to wigs, the Fame in Creamsicle. And I would go out online if you want a creamsicle like mine. Go out online and look up, look up, put type in in the Google box, um, fame and creamsicle and see if anyone has one because they're, they've pretty much discontinued this particular color. Although I love it. I think it's a beautiful color. I never could get over it. It's just so gorgeous, but we move on. So this is my fame wig. Can't live without it. Love it. Now then the first wig that I'm not in love with or don't, don't love me. These are wigs that just don't love me. And it is the Trendy by Tony Bratton in the color light gray. Now, this is just not my favorite. <laughs> and it just isn't suiting me particularly. So there's a couple of things that I could do. Um, I could trim up the bangs just a little bit. That would help right there. And I don't know. I could dye this wig. I could dye it and see if I could make it blonde. It might be prettier in a blonde color. So I've never tried to dye a wig before. I don't know what would happen. But um, you tell me what you think about the trendy. Thumbs up or thumbs down. So... Tell me what you think. So that's her. And I'm going to turn around and show you the back of her. So you can see her all the way around. She's just a shag. She is a shag type wig. And if you're crazy about grays, then you might like Tony Bratton's light gray. You might enjoy this particular wig. I do not. I, it just doesn't work for this girl. So, anyways, that is the trendy. Now, the next one that I'm having a problem with is the Sheena wig. And the Sheena is by John Renault. Now, they sent me this color by mistake. And I haven't heard back from them. They don't seem to want the wig back. So, they sent me a pure white wig. <laughs> and this is not the one that I ordered. The one that I ordered was a blonde one. And this one is what I got. So, this is what I have. I have this white wig. 
in the Sheena. Now, I like the Sheena. I don't have a problem with the Sheena. She's a little curly. She's a curly girl up on the top. She comes down in kind of a curly blixy, if you will, like a curly blixy. And I don't mind her. I think she's all right, not my favorite, but um, you can do different things with the front of it and you can make it all kinds of different. Um, but I don't know that I would wear a pure white wig. I just don't think it suits me. I think it's too extreme, and I, don't, I think it be, might be great on someone who was had dark hair, dark features, like dark, blonde, dark brown or black hair, and brown eyes, something like that. Maybe blue eyes would look amazing in this particular wig, but it's not for me. This is the Sheena, and this is the number 60. So you tell me, is this a thumbs up? or a thumbs down on the Sheena wig. I'm not particularly caring about this one. I don't think this one loves me. I did get the blonde. They sent me the blonde in, and I have showed you that one last day or two. And um, But they haven't asked for this one back, but this is the one they sent. Sometimes that happens. They'll send you the wrong color. But you tell me what you think about this wig. <laughs> Okay, now then, moving on. This was another one I might try and dye if they don't want it back, if they're not, if they don't care about it. They haven't communicated with me, so I don't know what they want to do. Usually they will send you um, something you can take down to the UPS office, a little sticker, it's, it's a digital, and you just put it, it's on your phone. They send it to you on the phone, and then they take the wig and send it off, and it's no big deal. And it doesn't cost you a dime to return it. Okay, this one here is the Brenda, let me see, by Henry Margot. Henry Margot, the, Br the Brenda. Now, I have tried this one before, and I have worked with this one before, but I think the color is just too out there for me. I think <laughs> that this color, it is a like a brazen auburn type color, a brazen auburn. I would, I would characterize it as a brazen auburn. She's got some cute bangs. Um, I was thinking it, no, I was thinking it was, it's not lace front. Now this one is a petite. Also, they sent me a petite when I ordered an average. And um, so the bangs need to be dealt with just a little bit, obviously. But beyond that, I mean, it's a cute hairstyle. The Brenda is a cute hairstyle. Look at that pretty. But the color is a little bit too out there for me. And this side here seems skimpy compared to this side. This side is full and it goes back. This side here seems skimpy. I don't know. But you can bring it forward if you like those little spit curls to the front. Or if you like it back like that, sleeked back, that's the way you can wear it as well. So what do you think about the Brenda? So thumbs up or thumbs down on the Brenda. I think the color is like a brazen auburn. Uh, the color itself is 131 GR, 131 GR. It is the petite cap that I'm wearing, which I can wear these caps, but I generally don't because they're too tight on my head. There's some of my bio here sticking out. So, anyways, tell me what you think about the Brenda. If I move my cat, my wig back just a bit, just a bit, 
maybe these bangs won't be so much in my face. <laughs> so you tell me what you think about this girl. Now then, I want to talk to you about something else. I want to talk to you about Jesus. Uh, Jesus is coming, folks. He's coming quickly. He is coming, and Ra Ramadan is coming 2024 today. Today is the first day of Ramadan, so here we go. Over in the Middle East, um, it really is flaring up. It's a religious war and there's, it shows no sign of slowing down. There's no truce in sight, nothing. So, and there's rumors of planning another October 7th type attack on Israel. So, Lebanon tension on the border up to the north. There's Yemen rebellion drones. Yemen is a little, uh, country, a Muslim country that's a little bit farther away from Israel, closer to the continent of Africa, and um, it's been firing drones on U.S. ships in the Gulf, and these are the Houthis, the Houthi people doing this firing. Now, NATO is moving missiles closer to the border of Russia. They're doing that. NATO has not eliminated getting into the fray in Ukraine. So we have wars and rumors of wars. And we see the signs every day. Haiti is becoming violent. Haiti is becoming violent. And my vile hair again wants to stick out. Haiti is becoming violent and a coup in Haiti is on the way. They have gangs, street gangs roaming around and the prime minister cannot get back in. So a coup is on the way. There is a one world government trying to be set up here. And a one world religion is coming. And then we have the rise of AI. Now those are things that are going on in the news and that all points to him. It all points to Jesus's return. He's coming back really, really quickly. He's coming back soon for his church, and you need to be ready. And the way that you be ready is just to accept Jesus into your heart, into your heart of hearts, that you believe that he died on the cross for your sin. You have to believe in the fact that you have sinned, that you're not a good person, not what you think you are, but you have sin. Sin, I went into sin yesterday. Have you lied? Have you stolen? You know, have you had sex out of marriage? Those kind of things, that's adultery. Have you taken the Lord's name in vain? That's blasphemy. So these things are sin, and the Ten Commandments lays them out. And he is very serious about that. And the penalty for sin is death. But he paid the price for you. He was born into the world as a baby, grew up, and died on the cross to pay the price for your sin. He loves you that much. He loves you, and he wants you in heaven with him. So believe in your heart that God died on the cross, that Jesus died on the cross for your sin, and believe that God the Father raised him from the dead on the third day. And just proclaim him, Lord of Lords, and King of Kings, and you will be saved. Now that's my story for today. Now in tomorrow's video, I'm going to be presenting wigs I actually wear that I can't live without. And Fame Wig is going to be one of them because I love that wig. Now, you will love this fun video. You really will. So that's my story for today, and I'll see you tomorrow.